character is, is gonna beat up Rob because he's so big. But yeah. uh, Rob can edge guard Ness pretty hard too, and Gyro's very good at, in this matchup as well. Let's see. I haven't seen Aaron play Ness, and uh, I don't know if, if he's not very practiced with the character. It can be hard going up against you know eight bitman's Rob, one of the best Robs to do it right now for sure. But uh, let's see. Let's see what he does. Let's see what it does indeed here. Finally getting that forwarder to push Aaron all the way to the left side of the stage with 59%. Going up on the get-up attack. Unfortunately, though, Aaron is kind of read that. Get the shield. A lot of aggression Ooh. here, but unfortunately, that neutral does not connect. And this gives Ape Man that forward smash and oh. pushes Aaron at such a tough spot. Wow. Oh, that's not a that's not a nest main angle. That that's is not, not a nest, nest main, main angle. angle. Yep. I'm not gonna no, tell you how to play it, man, but you might wanna pack up that nest if it can't get another if it can't get a stock. Let's see. Yeah, Ava Man's really playing off around the basic nest strategy with the PK fire and the aerials. He's just kinda waiting out these jumps and uh punishing appropriately. Kinda what you have to do a lot of times versus Ness. It's kind of like a situation like that. He's gonna get that back air there, but a lot of times you kind of just have to let Ness swing a little bit and then you know wait for your opening. But nice up smash. You never want a neutral get up versus that move. Just, no, just you never attack. do. Just get, just get up attack. Uh oh. Okay, he doesn't get the second gyro to connect. That would have been another gyro to uh, side B. Easy, easy stock for Ape Man. But Aaron's fighting back here. Oh, no, oh, great tech. He was definitely going for the jab block there. Oh, good on, good on Ape Man also still survive on that one. You don't want to get caught in that situation with the PK fire. Down throw. Nice. He tries, to read the, he tries to read the mash too, but unfortunately doesn't get it. Aaron's actually very, very good at mashing out of uh, Rob's down throw. And the, he's very good at DIing the right way after mashing out. It's actually not easy to follow up on him when he, um, you get that move. Yeah, it's really difficult. I do like the, that aggression from Ape Man because at that situation, he knows the, the closer I am to Ness, especially with him being at high percent, it doesn't matter if he heals. I just have to, have to get the right read after that. Yep. Really good point. Uh oh, nice. look out for the gyro. Yep. That's the gyro assist, man. Yeah, so much damage already. Oh, and nice. Like nice range back here, but too. doesn't get a shield poke or any type of follow up either. Ape Man keeping up the pressure. Let's see. Aaron looking for this stock. Nice. Good forward throw here. Yep. See, he's not even going to go for the down throwers there. And he's just like, all right, I'll just throw him off stage. He's just going to mash out. <laughs> oh. Aerials are flying from both players right now. Okay, he has the gyro at the ledge. Oh. Still a lot of pressure here. Doesn't cover the roll, but that's going to be a back throw. 128%. He's going to need a huge huge stock right now I like oh, how man. he doesn't go for the grab after that roll because he doesn't want to worry want to worry about it getting whiffed 133 here Ape Man pretty much knows I have to play a little bit lame here it's all on me just to kind of just lame out Aaron and then force it a situation where I get it excellent setup there with the downer would have covered that if he overshot the PK Thunder oh. up throw nope doesn't go for it try for an edge guard here nice right, no what jump if, oh that was good too I because he had throw. He had Gyro set up on the ledge, so if Aaron tried to land there, the Gyro would have covered him. Yeah. Really good coverage, man. Good coverage. I, should, if, I wish I could segue that into like a, <laughs> like a cell phone company thing. But anyways, Ape Man taking game one over Aaron. Pretty aggressive, I would say. Like we talked about it earlier, too, where... There was a situation where he said, you know what? I'm going to let Aaron get the heal because at this opportunity, even if he gets the heal, it's not enough for him to, it's not enough for him to be significant to worry about him not dying because he's still going to lose the stock here. But yeah, I, I guess think, I'm not 100% certain on this, but can't Ness uh, jump cancel after healing? I've seen it. I'm not. Don't quote me on it, man. Don't quote me on it. I'm not too sure. Uh, I've seen it done from a platform that's moving, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, if he can do that, then he probably won't have any lag after healing. So he, he, it shouldn't be a free punish. But it's neither here nor there. I'm not surprised Aaron's sticking with the Nets. I, I mean, he, I guess he must really prefer this over doing the Ditto or playing uh, Diddy Kong. Actually, yeah, his Nets didn't do that bad. 
actually. No, he just had like a small stint back there with the uh, angle, but that was about it. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, without that SD, that might have been a much closer game. Oh, nice, looking for gyro. that assist again from the gyro. Does he read the mash? I like that. Doesn't go for any attempt. He just waits to see how Iron's going to land. Oh, great oh, job block here. Excellent job block. All this right. could be a big opportunity for Aaron to get the stock here. But nonetheless, Ape Man lands with a neutral air. And what a trade off from Aaron. Yeah, that was a huge, huge punish. I could have led to the kill, but I still like the double PK fire aerial there after the jab block. Very, very good stuff. Okay. Almost. Oh, oh that was unfortunate. That's excellent. See, that's smart because he goes for that gyro to force Aaron to go a little bit deeper. And then that forces Aaron to try to fight at that situation in which Ape Man already knows. He's going to have to go for a deep recovery. Just go for the gyro arms. I'm sorry, the robo arms and call it a day. Yeah. Oh. Nice DI from Aaron on that neutral air. He got right out of that setup. That was actually so good. I haven't seen anyone DI Rob's Nair like that before. He actually got under Rob after getting hit. Oh, good pressure from Ape Man taking the jumps. Nice air dodge to the ledge. If you went low, you might have died. He's looking for the PK fires to get some damage here. Okay, fair string. Oh, oh nice spike. Wow, really good, really good combo there for Aaron. Oh man, he's just pre pressuring him at the ledge so heavily right now. Yeah, this forces Ape Man to go for a higher recovery here. Finally able to land. Slowly takes center stage here, but Aaron with the guard. I like that. Taps the gyro, sends it back at him. He knows he doesn't yeah. want this to be in play against him. Yeah, Aaron's very good with Rob and Diddy Kong, so uh, he knows how to use the items really well. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, nice. No. Uh, he actually really, really fortunate he didn't get set up into the gyro there. But there's the back throw. Yeah, Aaron, very solid, very solid on this stock for sure. Okay, good, decent DI on the up there. Almost gets the gyro snipe, but there's the side B off stage now. Forcing the low recovery here. Can Ape Man get the edge guard? Close. Oh, barely. Oh, nice PK fire. Doesn't get a hard follow up here, but gets the shield pull with the jab. We'll take it. Oh, missed the gyro grab. I like that though. Yep, he's actually, look, he's so good at avoiding that from the yeah. down throw. But uh, he does get that up there to connect. Excellent I'm sorry to ask him how, I'm, I'm sorry asking ask him how he uh, gets that so consistently. Like that mash to air dodge. I'm sure he's got elegance mashing abilities. Nonetheless here, Aaron definitely looking to chase down Ape Man all the way off the stage. I like oh, it still. Right up there through the ledge. ledge. Yeah, that was very good up there through the ledge. Almost sent him off stage as well. Ooh, he's looking for that gyro assist oh. yet again. I like it, though. Gets away from the PK fire. Yeah, he's, he's not getting a strong hit of PK fire, so he's not getting stuck there as long, unfortunately, for Aaron. But he's very close to getting the stock right now. Ooh, Ooh and that the side had, stall. That had no lag. I think Ape Man saw the back air from the side magnet. He was like, okay, I can I can go in now. And then and he's like, no, <laughs> I'm just going to back air again. <laughs> Gonna back her again, indeed. That was a really excellent slice off an R and to kind of also cover the platform and then the rest of the stage. Excellent stuff here. That pushes game three. And... I kind of want to see Ape Man adjust a little bit against Aaron when since he's not mashing. Since he's excellent. I'm sorry. Since he's mashing so well off of down throw. So I kind of, I kind of want to see how Ape Man's gonna tackle that. The first time we saw him do that was last game where he just waited for Aaron to respond. And then he punished the landing afterwards. So I, got, I want to see Ape Man do that a little bit more when it comes to the down throw. But good stuff on Aaron. He put up an excellent show when it came down to pressure against Rob. Because at the end of the day, he is a really big hurt box. Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a huge advantage that Ness has in this match. Well, most, like, combo characters with, like, great aerials and hitboxes against Rob. Like, once he gets hit, he's going to take a beating really really badly and uh just the thing about rob's recovery as well just having no hitbox on it like once he's off stage is two and four still being pretty much a sitting duck from a lot of things ness wants to do so the, the more situations that Aaron can abuse that the harder it's going to be for ape man but um we'll see ape man uh, i've seen him you know adjust pretty well even when he loses the game so uh, i want to see what's going to happen in this counter pick here from ape man yeah all right, looking like town and city. Town and city, indeed. 
Yeah, I like this counter pick for Abe in there. I think yeah. this, this is a... Depending on how Aaron likes to use the platforms, this could be a pretty good nest stage too. Um, like if he wants to use the platforms that help his PK fire angles, it be very good for him. Fair string here. We'll try to pick up the gyro, but there it is. Like, nice on Ape to kind of wait on that platform here. Yeah, they're going to try to apply a lot of pressure there with the up air combined with the falling gyro as well. Good on Aaron. Still going for that back air because it's also like good to stop the gyro but also stop Ape Man from approaching as well. Another back air. Ape Man running a little bit low on fumes here. 115 to 75. Aaron gets a good read here oh, and it's curtain. Oh, oh wow, uh, that was such a good PK fire angle. But yep. he doesn't get the follow up. Oh wow, the air dodge got through everything. Yep, that PK Thunder is very good against Rao's recovery. Yep. Could definitely okay. snipe him out of it. Ape Man probably looking for the landing. Double up air. Missed the opportunity. Ooh. I do like the robo arms just because it would have called out an opportunity against Aaron for him to go for PK fire, but nonetheless, Aaron changed it up. Yeah. That side stall is just enough uh, mix on the recover or the landing for Ape Man to get mixed up a little bit. That could have been really, really bad if he got hit by like a third PK fire there. But wow, these side magnets are so good for him right now. He's just mixing up his drifts so so well. And the, the wind box from the side magnets also stopping the gyro too. Pretty interesting. Oh, that was a good setup from Ape Man. It's a little bit too late. Nice. Aaron keeping oh. up the pressure. Oh man. Not enough. Oh no punish! Oh man. If you can up be in neutral and not get punched for it as Ness, you're having a good time. Ape Man looking for an opportunity against the stock here, 158 and 93, and he's only climbing up in percent. I like yeah. that. Look at that. Hey, he's, dude, just, he's, he's just trying to play patient. You have to give him respect yeah. there. Finally gets a landing there. Good things come to those who wait. I mean, like I said, you just sometimes you literally have to just let Ness swing because if you try to approach, you're gonna get hit by one of his crazy huge hit boxes. Excellent job here. Doesn't get the reset, oh, but there's back the back throw. Unfortunate for Ape Man. That reset would have been huge. Can't count him out just yet, though. We know Ape Man can definitely turn things up to 11 here. 72% to his 1.6 untouched. Yeah, kind of greedy going for the arm. A rotor there. Want you to punish? Get the eye on the up air. He's staying alive. Oh, wow! What a tag chase, man. Yeah, down tilt or just a uh, gentleman jab. Yeah, I mean he was just going for the down tilt in case he missed the tag. That would have probably been a stock actually from the jab lock. All right. Still keeping up the pressure off stage. Ava man trying oh, to find a way no. back to center. But there's the up smash. Barely living, but he doesn't have his gyro now. Oh, almost gets the drag down up there. Neutral air, yeah, Ooh. 139. Ape Man is not out of it. We know we know, we know he could do with Rob here. He just has to play yeah. this slow and steady, and I like that recovery choice option here. Kind of slowly dragging air, dragging out Aaron. Gets the forward air, almost with the assist on the gyro, 37. Aaron's got to know at this point here, if he lets Ape Man get a little bit more closer, that could be the stock for him to lose. He definitely has the rage too to make come back happen to get an earlier kill on Nest than usual. Changing it up. Oh, good. almost gets the back air snipe. Okay, off stage. Just gotta watch out. I like the stall there too. Using upper, but unfortunately, oh. he stalled just a little bit too long. Aaron moving up 2 1. Yeah, that was a really, really good down smash placement on the ledge. Honestly, uh,. Very risky to try to plank the ledge like that versus Ness. He just has so many moves I hit in that spot. Exactly. But almost, almost the comeback for sure. I think he just if he just got Aaron off stage, he could have definitely had an easier time there. And I respect the upper too, end. because if you look at it, he wanted to stop Aaron from going for that specific smash attack. He wanted to stop Aaron from going for down tilt and things like that. He just swung a little bit too early. Ape Man was literally knows what he was going for. It was just a little early on that one here. And that put Aaron, it's such an opportunity for him to just let it rip.
Yeah, I gotta say, I'm very impressed with Aaron's Ness. I have never seen him play Ness, but Neither he definitely I. knows what he's doing. <laughs> Chat's a little bit quiet okay, today, so... far, but anyways, game game four here. Big opportunity for Aaron to close the set and the last Ooh. chance for Ape Man to have an opportunity here as well. Man, Aaron's pressure right now, very, very good. Ape Man can't really find it a, a chance to breathe, really. Yeah, he's having a lot of difficulties here. PK Fire there, that kind of pushes Ape Man to go for that roll. Still stuck at the left side of the stage. I think it's kind of come. Oh no! Oh, did he know? He yeah, he knew. He, he didn't he know that the gyro would combo yeah. into the up smash. That was crazy. <laughs> That's gotta feel bad when you're a Rob player and you get comboed from your own gyro. Like, man, it's like you're the one supposed to do that. <laughs> oh, he tried to save for back air, but that forward yeah, is so disjointed. Yeah, and this is hitboxes have so much range. And uh, the startup on Rob's aerials just doesn't help him in that regard either. Not at all. Yeah, see, he tried to start a forward air and then he just immediately got hit by Ness. Nice, okay. late hit of Nair, finally able to kind of trade through a little bit on Ape Man's favor, 44%. Yeah, honestly, I think Aaron is even fine with trading in that situation, even though he lost his stock. Yeah, he's oh. got such a lead. I actually thought the jab block was coming, but Aaron went for something crazy with the down air. Oh, nice. Gyro oh, there's assist. a gyro setup. Excellent nice play. Free grab. Again, Aaron's mashing out and drifting really well. It's hard to get a uh, down throw up air to work on him. Oh, okay, gets out, fights back with the down air. Hey, man, this is like the best I've seen him uh, play right in this, uh, in this set. But oh, as soon as I say that, Tipper for smash caught his landing. Oh man, Ape Man had such a good opportunity to really take that stock before Aaron did. Nope, no gyro assist. A little bit too far away. Oh, and he got the shield poke too. Oh man, this is, everything is not working for Ape Man right now. Yeah, he's just trying to get something going here. 79% of 126. Once again, that down smash, the bane of his recovery. It's coming down to what yeah. you said, Strand. Sometimes you just gotta let Ness swing. Because if you try to go a little bit too aggressive, never forget his hitboxes have so much of a disjoint and they last a little bit longer than you would expect. Yeah. Especially if you're Rob, because you're so big and like your aerials aren't as fast. So if you just try to challenge him, it's not gonna work out a lot of times. But there's the up throw. And again, AV Man finds himself. On his last stock at kill percent, basically having to make a huge comeback. But, but let's see if he can pull it off this time. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot to pull off indeed. But I do like the fact that Ape Man kind of stalled himself here. Here is the Robo Arms pushing him a little bit towards the left. He tried to catch the roll with the narrow, missed opportunity. But good stuff on Ape Man to recognize his own gyro. He can probably get an assist off that as well. Yep, he does have the gyro in play. Oh, okay. Aaron finds a way past it though. Nice. Good for oh, him going for laser. Nice. Oh, man. Almost, almost. But that's a good, that's really good damage. Oh, and he has to stay control too. Oh, oh he has catch no. Ape Man, the up smash out of shield. Oh, man. Ape Man, he dropped one tiny opening that would have led to potentially getting the kill. And it cost him, unfortunately. But, Yo, hate wow. to see it. Yeah, he dropped a small. It was literally over. Like, Ape Man had just turned it around. It was literally over, and he dropped it at the last second.